What's that? You look like you've got a cigar. Oh, I don't think you're supposed to have that, are you? Look at his face. What are you doing? Look at his face. <laughs> you thought you could sneak it in past us. He hasn't even got his harness on. <laughs> his lip tongue sticking out. Oh. <laughs> Let's take your harness off. I'm not going to take it from you. All right. The water level was really high when we got here and uh, I think it must have dropped slightly. Normally you can reverse off but sometimes you just can't. gentle persuasion with the uh, plank. Hopefully we'll be able to swing out a bit more. But as I was saying, we had a beautiful morning here at Wilcott. Full solar, which was really lovely, unusual in the winter. But unfortunately, no telephone signal and no internet, despite really wanting to stay here for two weeks. We do need to work and we do need the internet so we are going to move on. But if you have a holiday in and you don't need internet and phone signal, beautiful place. Eric is joining me on the front this morning. He doesn't normally, because he's never trusted. I'm going to keep a good watch on him today. You being nosy, Eric? Okay. You being nosy? What are you doing? Enjoying the sunshine. It's like a spring morning today. <coughs> And this is where we were um, a couple of months back when somebody had to tow us off of the um, silt um, because the water level had dropped so much that we couldn't actually get off of the um, sediment ourselves, so we had to be towed off. summer this was one of our favourite places to moor and have lunch. Um, it's in between 
a Woodborough Hill, which has got all the trees on the top, and Pickled Hill over there. But unfortunately, it's a bit early for lunch, so we're not going to be stopping here today. We're going to press on. And over there you've got Pickled Hill, and you can actually make out the um, terracing, the medieval terracing. Um, but what I'll do is I'll zoom in with my um, camera and see if I can get a photo of it so you can see in more detail. guns going off at Salisbury Plain. It actually makes the boat shake on the water. There was an absolutely amazing sunset last night. And uh, the birds were just so noisy like they are today. It's beautiful. It does feel like spring. It's still February, but and we've had snow last week, the week, the week before that rather. And um, it feels
feels different at the moment. It feels a little bit warmer. And there's lots and lots of bird song. We can really hear them guns going off. Hello. Hi. Um, for all our new viewers out there, if you wonder what that snoring noise is, it's Eric R. King Charles Cavalier and he snores normally through all of our videos, so apologies mm. for that. It's become a bit of a feature, I'm afraid. Yes. <laughs> no matter where we go on the boat to try and do some recording, he follows and mm. within seconds he's snoring. So yes, indeed. We just have to put up with it, don't we? Indeed. So let's talk about our week. Yeah, we've had a good week. Um, we've we were at a beautiful spot in Wilcott in Wiltshire, weren't we? In where? Wiltshire. 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 You're doing your um, drunk voice again, aren't you? We were in a beautiful spot in uh, Wiltshire. Wilcott. In Wilcott. Yes. In Wiltshire, and um, it was really really beautiful there, wasn't it? It we was. We had yeah. a brilliant mooring. Um, nice low bank. Nice but unfortunately, we had no internet. Mm. I mean, we. I mean, we use. Um, we're on a Vodafone. Um, it's a, called a Hawaii, 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 hmm. um, and it's a MiFi thing, and it's like a little like, rectangular thing. I'll show you a picture of it um, in a second. Second, um, and it uh, it's been brilliant. It I mean, is. Perfect, super, isn't it? Better super. than when we had internet at home, when we had Virgin at home. Yeah, we had Virgin and we were on the super fast, like, high speed, Yeah. I don't know, 100 meg download or whatever they call it. Whatever it was. And it, you couldn't stream a film, it was that terrible. But this um, Vodafone um, internet is absolutely brilliant. The 4G is, you can stream anything and it, it does it with ease. Um, so we're super impressed with it. And it's, we pay, we get 50 gig of data. And we pay twenty five pounds a month for that fifty gig of data, and we also pay another seven ninety nine for a thing called a video card, which um, enables video pass. Sorry, which enables you to stream um, Netflix, Now TV, BBC iPlayer, uh, you know YouTube, pretty much uh, Amazon Prime, any of the kind of online content. And um, what we find is that at the end of the month, we've not used any of our fifty gig of data. And yet we've used maybe 100 gig on video streaming. Mm. So if you're worried about mm. using up your data, it's absolutely brilliant. Unfortunately, there are some spots along the K&A. Yeah, where not only many. Only a few. Not many. Where you don't get great signal. So we probably could do more to boost the signal, but we found out we, can, we don't really need to. You know, We just move the boat. Move it somewhere else. Yeah, and nine times out of ten, you're only moving it half a mile or so and for you to get a really decent signal again yeah um yeah so we had to unfortunately we had to move the boat because we did need telephone access we did need um internet yeah. um as well so um would be lovely if we were on holiday and didn't need any of that but yeah we did it's an essential thing for us for it our is. job isn't it yeah i mean me because obviously i need online access to do um my writing and you because you need to be able to access your website and and emails and, and so on and phone calls and things yeah so. so yeah so we moved from wilcott we've got a lovely location now with um a really low bank no trees and loads of solar loads of solar from about 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock in the morning when the sun's out until about 4, 3, 30, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, last week, in fact actually today, we generated um, close to 400 watts of solar, which isn't bad for a winter sun because it's lower. 
so we've explained, I think, you know, I'll put a link to a previous video yeah. about the angle of the panels, but even, you know... Considering that, it's February. Yeah, so it's been brilliant. But so. the weather has been so bizarre. I mean, a couple of weeks ago, we obviously had that snow, um, and inches and inches and inches of snow. Yeah. And then today... I'll show you. It's 18 degrees. As the sun goes in. Yeah, no. <laughs> So the weather's been unusual, isn't it? Mm, for the time of year. It's not normally this nice this time of the year. Definitely um, not. But it does make us think about summer. Yeah, we're yearning for the summer How days. How exciting it'll be. It'll be fab. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, doctors? Yeah, okay. So last in the last video you saw us uh, talk about getting the doctors if you haven't got a permanent address. And I we talked about a letter that you can get from the Department of Health and we've included that in our last video so there's a link there for you to um, to print one off if you want to. Yeah. I printed off the letter, I went into the doctors, signed all the forms and I asked the lady what address she would like me to give. I gave her the option of the post office where we do our post restaunt, where we get all our mail delivered. Mm -hmm my mum's address but unfortunately that isn't in Wiltshire um, that's in another county um, or the doctor's uh, surgery address and the receptionist was really really lovely um, she went to ask a couple of colleagues because she was she was unsure what address to put down um, and in the end they just wanted us to put the boat name down and the correspondence address which was the post office um, so yeah, it wasn't it wasn't an issue at all getting a doctor's um, uh, or signing up with a doctor without an address. So it worked wonders. Good. Yeah. But we'd still like to hear from anybody out there that has managed to download the letter, print a copy off, and used it as a direct result of the letter being able to get a, um, on a doctor's uh, patient list. So. Yeah. Yeah. So and yeah. if you get any problems as well. Yeah, whether it works or not. Um, but yep, yeah, for us it, it worked, so it, did. it should work for you. Good. Yeah. Um, we also went and saw um, the musical Only Fools and Horses, which was on in London. We yeah, we went to London for the. It was a bargain of, days. of the century, wasn't it? It was the it first. Was. It was the opening week, and we managed to get two tickets. Mm. And this is for a West End show in the heart of London. And they cost us twelve pounds fifty each. <laughs> um, they weren't the greatest seats in the world, but we had we a clear view of the stage. Right up in the in the heavens, weren't we? Watching we were, it, yeah. But it was it was fab, wasn't it? Still a good view. It, yeah, it's superb. And the and the musical. If you get a chance, if you like Only Fools and Horses, if you for those of the um, the viewers that are um, overseas and don't know about Only Fools and Horses. Um, fair enough. You, it's very, um, it's a very British sense of humour. Yeah, it's a um, comedy. But um, it is so good with Paul Whitehouse, who's from the Fast Show, and Harry Enfield, and so on. He plays Grandad, and he also makes um, a surprise appearance as Uncle Albert. Um, it's got all of the one-liners in it. Um, it's got twenty songs, um, all written for the show, um, written by the guy from Chaz and Dave, Chaz. I can't remember his surname. No, I can't remember his surname. But the guy who's um, from Chaz and Dave. Um, it's well worth it, well worth it indeed. And yeah. at £12.50, it was a steal, it was a bargain. It so. was a good, good couple of days. So we've been really busy, haven't we? We went to London. Yeah. And then we decided to take a day off as well. Cause yeah. We've gone for weeks and weeks and weeks without a day off. Yeah. Um, and we went to the Hawk um, Conservancy. Yes, Conservancy? that's right. Is Conservancy, that yeah. Conservancy. Yeah. In Andover, and that was, well, for me that was incredible because um, I got to photograph loads and loads of um, fabulous falcons and, well, vultures, buzzards, red kites, everything. Bold eagles. Oh, the secretary bird. Secretary bird. Gorgeous. Golden eagles. Um, so I've taken lots of photographs though, so that I can do some paintings of them. So I um, had yeah. a fabulous day there, which was... Uh, Hmm. Yeah, well worth going to if you're in the Andover area. Indeed. 
So what's our plan for next week? For next week? Yeah. Um, we're going to move down to... We're going to have to get water. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to have to go that way, the direction we're going in at the moment. Turn. Back to get water and to pump out the um, toilet. Yeah. To the next turning point to turn to go back to where we mm. more or less started. So it's a toss up between staying at Milkhouse Water or going all the way through to um, Wooten, Rivers. Wooten Rivers. Well, I'm tempted to go to Wooten Rivers. Um, so we'll see how we go. But we'll film it as we do it. And we need to get um, some fuel so we will hopefully um, yeah, meet up with the, the fuel, fuel boat. boat as well. Um, and we want to go that through the good. Bruce Tunnel as well, which will be our very first tunnel. And that, that's yeah. we're looking forward to that. Um, it's not supposed to be very long, but. I think it's long enough. Long enough for us. Yeah. For the first one. Indeed. Yeah. Um, Please um, give it a thumbs up if you like it. Um, it would be wonderful to have you to subscribe if you can. We had a look at our um, viewing figures the other day and half of our viewers aren't subscribed. So if you can, please, you know, subscribe to our channel. Yeah. And um, click the bell so that you get notifications. Yeah, it's interesting that half the viewers aren't subscribed, yeah. which is, it means that you've got, I suppose, half of your viewers are, I mean, don't get me wrong, viewers are great. I love people that want to view the videos, but it means so much more to us if you could just subscribe. It's free, it doesn't cost you anything to do it. Um, and it just means that you then get an email notification if you click the bell, you get a notification when we put new videos up. Instead of searching for us or looking you know, um, watching us through a Facebook link, um, it means that you get direct access via um, a notification. So it just makes life easier for you and, and obviously, it, you know, it helps us as well, helps us a lot. By all means, keep watching. So even if you don't want to subscribe, keep watching. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Um, yeah. But um, if you could see your way clear just to subscribe, yeah. it would be fabulous. It'd be great for you to join us. It would, yeah, on the journey. Yeah. So uh, thank you for watching. And um, we'll see you next week. Yeah, we will. See you next week. Bye. Bye.